When you do any type of alchemy, you have to understand the role of each element that you're using. When you do not receive any type of unconditional love and commitment from a man, it means something in your heart is still closed. I have the sturdiness of the mix of about 90% gold and 10% copper. Any Miss Pravala potion is going to have three core ingredients. They have not changed, they've been the same since ever since I started making potions. And the first ingredient that I'm going to use for this client, this Middle Eastern lifestyle influencer who lives in Dubai, is the precious stone called Emerald. It's a green stone. It is a stone of the heart chakra, the Anahata chakra. So, the stone serves two purposes. The first one is to open our heart. The heart as a portal, as an energy center, only has two purposes. To send love and to receive love. The heart has to be open. When you do not receive any type of unconditional love and commitment from a man, it means something in your heart is still closed. Of course, I'm dealing with it energetically with the work that I'm doing separate, but the potion has to carry the same properties. So I'm going to activate actually this emerald so that it really helps her open her heart chakra. The second purpose of the Emerald, of course, as you know, is to upgrade your life, upgrade your lifestyle. Since she's hitting a plateau professionally and financially, this is going to bring her new opportunities, investments, and ways to multiply her money. The goal is that she becomes a new person socially so that she gets into different uh, social circles so that she looks also differently. She looks richer, but it's not just in the looks. She vibrates wealth, a different level of wealth. Of course, every single person is always expanding or going backwards. Stagnating is a curse in itself. But most of the time, you're going to either stagnate or go backwards when you're not actually deliberately using your free will and investing time, money, resources for your expansion. So that is the reason why I'm using Emerald. And the Emerald is a stone used for both opening of the heart chakra so that she's ready to receive love and receive wealth. So this is a heart and money stone this is really a stone that aligns you to the entitlement of being loved being loved by money being loved by men it is absolutely a precious stone of commitment second ingredient i always use in my potions is gold 18 karat gold uh, in dust or powder form because i wanted to infuse in the potion to melt so to speak in the potion and it is absolutely mandatory when you do any type of alchemy you have to understand the role of each element that you're using so i'm using 18 karat gold and not 24 karat gold which is higher in quality why 18 because 18 karat gold is more flexible if you know a little bit about jewelry, you know that yellow 24K gold is very, very fragile, bends easily uh, compared to 18. Why? Because your 18 karat gold is mixed with copper. So here, I have the sturdiness of the mix of about 90% gold and 10% copper, which makes the conduction of the energy going higher and higher in the uh, divine dimensions, the divine realms, it makes it much stronger. 
My third ingredient that I always use in my potions is resin. I use either wood resin or okumi resin. What is resin? Resin in spirituality is basically the blood of the tree. And you know if you take my spiritual course, the importance of trees, the spirit of trees, the ancestors' spirits of trees. So this goes to amplify any wish, any life purpose, any desire. The desire has to be aligned with your divine entitlement. Ud resin or okume resin is going to magnify, make bigger, make faster. That is why a lot of people use it as incense when they're praying, when they're reciting mantras. It makes the potion go higher, feel higher, feel like more. It's going to make your energy expand. And the moment we determine that whatever you come to me for is actually a divine entitlement, something that in your timelines you're supposed to manifest in this lifetime, this here, this resin is going to make you attain it faster. If you come to me in your mid-20s, mid-30s, mid-50s, however much time you've taken to reach to me, we're going to make time and manifestation come to you much faster. So I can't actually show you the whole process of me making a potion and all of the ingredients and all of the labor that goes into it because me making a potion, I follow the lunar cycle, the lunar rhythm, the rhythm of the moon. Me making potion is 28 days of work. So at this point, I already have this tincture to which I'm going to add supporting ingredients. I'm going to show you not all of them, just a few of them. This here is called Vanadinite, it's a gemstone. It rules the Manipura and the Svaristana Chakra, the solar plexus and the womb or sacral or sexual chakra. This here, I use it because my client suffers from speaking her truth while being taken serious. This gemstone is actually not so popular but it's going to work on creating harmony in her sexual energy in her creativity and it's also going to tame down any type of limiting egos telling her or making her be perceived by others as oh she's not serious uh, i shouldn't really trust her with that level of projects which is basically why one of the reasons why she's eating a plateau right now. I'm going to also grade this Queen of Elizabeth because it's uh, really an issue for her to receive commitment, loyalty, and a fast sort of the men choosing her. So we want her to actually be in a position of ease when it comes to seduction, where she doesn't feel that she needs to go on dates, where she has to, you know, use all of that masculine sort of uh, imperative of, you know, being at the right place at the right time so she can attract, because this strategy hasn't worked. So I'm gonna grate this as well here and include it in the potion. And finally, the last ingredient I'm going to show you, like I told you, I'm not showing you everything, is a pheromone. It's called civet, it's a tincture. And as you can see here, I use double concentrate. This here, I do not get from any type of mainstream store. Actually, none of my ingredients, I get them in mainstream places. I source all of my ingredients in you know, families that produce those ingredients, or I go to the local markets in some countries, the wood and some of the plants, even the plants and the, you know, that I give to uh, my clients to do their spiritual baths. I go to the spiritual market, whether I'm in my country or around the world, I would go anywhere where those products are at the highest sort of heightened energy state. 
And this here is no different. I get this from a, an Italian family that has been making pheromones for generations. And this is where I get my civet. You know what pheromones are used for, right? Mm -hmm. Making you magnetic. It's really calling upon this animal aspect of us and it also helps you with emotional triggers because emotional triggers come from you experiencing something in the 3d and reacting we want you to stop reacting to the 3d we want all of those triggers to be addressed by observing them and releasing them so that the potion can actually do all of the heavy lifting of energy shifting. That's why added to the potion, I always, always, always give my custom clients the planner so that the planner, the soft life manifestation planner, helps them on a day-to-day -day basis to be devoted to their transformation project and to be away from distractions, to stop just being such a sponge to anything and anyone's opinion and images that are bombarded to my client.